What a nice day today. Where are we going today? We're going to... Campsy. Campsy! You sound not very excited. <laughs> so why are we going to Campsy? Because uh, you want to go there. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Other than <laughs> saying that I want to go there, which is true. <laughs> but what's the reason? Why do I want to go there? Chombek, is it? Chombek, that's Chombek. right. We are going to Camp C to buy Chombek. You're wondering what is Chombek? Well, you'll find out soon. No, Chombek is not Chombro. What is Chombro to your knowledge? Uh, something that your dad hates. <laughs> uh, anyway, long story short, Chombro is a type of uh, Javanese uh, uh, food. Bundle. Uh, bandung, bandung I think it is and uh, it contains a lot of uh, cumin which my dad hates weather forecast for today one of one of those really stunning sort of Sydney clear days but it is blisteringly hot um, is it 30s today you reckon the forecast actually I think we said the wrong thing we're not going to camp city by John back we're buying job back job back Chombek. No M. Whoops. So does Chombek actually mean anything? No, probably. I'm not sure. Sorry, my Indo not powered the full. If anyone ever talks about the Italian garden, this is what they mean. Oh, I see. Grass. Concrete grass? <laughs> Concrete lawn? Oh, that's amazing. Wow. That's impressive. The next few minutes of this video is just simply us walking around uh, through the main streets of Campsy, having a look at what shops are there uh, and what restaurants are available while we decide where to eat. Um, if you just want to skip ahead to the next section uh, to see uh, the restaurant where we had lunch. Oh, Lamy, okay, sure. Okay. I'll let you pick. We can, we can compare the pair. I think hey, Mark, H Mark, the, 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 the itself, Yuki product, or just a regular. They got the Penang Cha Kui Tiao traditional Hokkien Cha something or Cha Ho, I don't know what it is. It's Cha Mi Sua, Singapore Cha Bi Hun, Spicy Mi Sotong. Okay, they got the lobak. Ooh, they got bakute. Oh, it's very hot. Yeah. We should go here with your mum and your dad. Oh, that's it. Okay. Oh, this looks like a good one to get tools. Oh, aren't you looking for what? Are you looking for the carbon steel one? Oh. I can't believe it. The whole shop really just sell all kinds of chicken. Hundred and eight dollars is pretty good. Oh yeah, I see it, Malaysia hometown hotel. 
got your traditional bakute, five spice fried pork with fruit platter, paka style braised duck with ginger, golden chicken dice, white pepper pork tripe chicken soup. We ended up choosing this restaurant because it has a nice range of fried noodles, which we actually felt like, which included uh, the ones that we were really hankering for, which is the cha kway tiao. Um, but, you know, just it's one of those restaurants with a lot of items on the menu, so there should be something in there for everyone. Hello, can I just table for two, please? Yes. Thank you. Uh, what you, did you see? Thank you. Mm. Oh, they got the limo. Mm -hmm. This is new. I've never seen this before. There's something called dragon coffee, oh, but I think they have it because it's scratched out. But they used to have something called dragon coffee, which is Milo and coffee. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, they even have the bandung drink here. Ooh, they got ice chendol. Might be worth it for today because it's very hot. I think I'm going to get the ice crust jelly because it's so hot today. Hey, they got salted egg with king prawn. They got sambal but thai prawn. Do you want any? Too much? Yeah, okay. Hey, they got, they got peepees. Yeah, no, because I'm hot. They got marmite spare ribs. Question for you then. What's your anticipation for the food? Like, how confident are you? Weirdly, I think I'm expecting a five out of ten. Yeah, I was thinking you don't look confident with your choice. <laughs> you had the look of someone who I think I, I picked the wrong ways. <laughs> so, I mean, you picked the glass noodles because I know you like glass noodles. So, mm. so we'll, see, we'll see how they do it. And like, you know, the fact that she's actually said, oh, not many people actually order all the glass noodles. It's like, uh, okay. Well, we'll see what happens. You never know. You yeah, never, never go. Could turn out to be an eight out of ten. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, looks very refreshing. Oh, no coming, coming. Thank you. I like that it's not. There's no added sugar. Like, this is quite low sugar. Oh, good. Not too at all, actually. Is that a problem for you? I actually yeah. don't mind it. It's weird because you expect a lot of sugar, yeah. but like I like how actually they don't. While we were waiting for our food, decided to take a look at the restaurant uh, decor. It's nothing flash, it's uh, pretty typical of what you would get in Malaysia. Uh, it's simple, but it's clean. I also like the food pictures on the wall. Um, the satay was recommended actually, but we didn't uh, end up choosing it. Maybe for next time. Oh, this looks really good. Smells really good. Salt and duck and chakui now. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you. Oh, it's got the lala. Oh, the glass noodles are good. So, this and this. Probably gonna be too much to have the satay. That's what I think. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can. How is it? Mm -hmm. So noodles tasted really good, but we found it that it was a little bit on the bland side, and then we realized, of course, we were supposed to add sambal to it. And we saw the sambal station just at the counter, so I walked over there and started grabbing loads of uh, the chili. Um, I think uh, that one there is uh, the one that's got maybe some blachan in it, um, and of course, the pickled green chili, which is amazing. That was actually really, really nice.
Yeah, so what, what, what's your comment about the sambal? It's really nice. It tastes like the shrimp, onions, garlic, obviously chili. Mmm. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. I like how they, under, they don't put too much salt mm. in the fried noodles so that when you add the sambal, it adds the flavor. It just makes it really, really good. Mm. So it's good because then it allows you to cater how salty you want your food to be. Really good. Squat, squat tongue. You know I don't speak Mandarin. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Isn't this like the Vietnamese? Yeah, lychee. And is that like the seaweed? No, that's crushed jelly. Okay. Mm. Now, guys. I have to tell you the truth this was actually very 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 plain to the point where it tasted like there was no sugar so um, just you can actually ask them to add more sugar they did actually offer when they asked us for our opinion uh, in the end we decided not to to be healthy Yeah, okay. Today was a good day. Good day, yes. But I was going to say today is success. Okay. We bought the chobek at last. Chobek. No, not chobek. 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 Not robek. Okay. Okay. So uh, we're leaving Campsie now. What's the verdict for um, the Malaysian hawker place? Yeah, not bad. Like overall, I give it about a seven, seven and a half out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten. Yeah, for both of the dishes. So that's actually not really high. But it's not that low. I was expecting a five. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you were not confident before. Okay, so then uh, that's an overall. So, uh, okay, so besides not bad, any other comments, observations? Well, like you said when we were there, it's not very salty, which is probably a good thing because then it gives you the opportunity to have uh, your own sambal, which was very, very good. The sambal was very good. Um, however, the desserts probably needed a little bit more sugar, a little bit more sweetness because they were a little bit dry. Mm. Um, same with the drinks. Yeah. I mean, we didn't mind, didn't mind because we wanted to be healthier. And you can actually ask for more sugar, um, you know, a sweetener yeah. to adjust because uh, the waitress was more than happy to offer that. But it's more that um, I think, you know, for some people, they might not like that. In terms of individual rankings then for um, each dish, so the duck egg chakwetia, what do you rate that? Eight out of ten, okay. And what about the glass noodles? Seven. Seven, okay. And what about the drinks, the uh, the ice lychee? Probably about a five. <laughs> I figured it would be a five. My ice ice jelly. At the roundabout, continue straight stay on Brighton Avenue. Oh, my ice ice jelly got a seven? How come? That's good. Okay. And uh, what about that? Uh, yeah, uh, the whatever, whatever that I thought you you thought was ice kacang, but I think it was si kuo tang or something like that. Yeah, I give it a five. A five. <laughs> <laughs> but again, because I didn't have uh, that much sugar in it, so and, and it's a shame. We actually wanted to order their chendol, um, but she said that they've run out of desserts because yesterday was a hot day, and they make their own um, uh, beans actually for ice kacang. And they make their own chendol and they Use have the right to simply run out so that's a shame right but hopefully we'll try it next time today's weather is just amazing on the days like this sydney just looks incredible it looks really nice now that it's finished we should actually check it out yeah i love it
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to click like and see you again.